Hi, welcome to Let's Go Oddity and today I'm going to show you some new Pokemon searches you might not know. Um, I'm first going to start off with the basics and then I'm going to go into ones that seem to have appeared more recently. For example, you might want to find a fire Pokemon. So if you type the word fire, it will bring up fire Pokemon. But not necessarily all your fire Pokemon will have fire moves. So if you want to find a fire move, because maybe you're battling um, a certain Pokemon that's weak against fire, if you do at fire, the at searches for the 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 move type. So as you've seen, it's been, it's brought Whismur this time because that, it's not a fire Pokemon, but it has flamethrower. The at symbol also works for uh, like if you know the specific move. So maybe if you were looking for Rock Smash, for example, and you'll see it brings up Pokemon that have Rock Smash. There's also some other stuff that you can do with the searches. So for example, maybe you've got a Pokemon that's at a gym at the moment. So if you search Defender, it'll show you all the Pokemon that you've currently got in a gym. There's also searching for CP and HP. They're both quite similar how you do it. So you'd start, say you want a Pokemon that's CP 100. It'll bring up, say, Weedle's CP 100. Maybe you want it to be in the CP range. So you would go CP 100. No, not 100, dash 200. And then that brings up stuff that's in that range. Whereas if you change that to HP at the front, then it'll bring up the ones that have certain HP. And again, you can do that in the range. You can also obviously search for a, for a certain Pokemon. So see, I've got Snorlax there. I like could see if I have more than one Snorlax. I didn't even finish typing that then. But look, I've got two Snorlaxes. Some that seem to have appeared more recently are, say you want to know if you have any shiny Pokemon and you can see these two are shiny because they've got like the little stars above them. So if you search shiny then you'll see if you've got any shinies and you never know, you might discover that you had a shiny that you hadn't realised you'd caught. Or there's also legendary. So if you search legendary it'll show you all your legendary Pokemon. There's a lot of searches, it's quite good, the search mechanism, there's a lot in it that I didn't realise there was. For example, there's also Alola, Alola Pokemon, and then you can see there are my Alola type Pokemon. What's probably the most useful that I've found is typing Evolve. So if you type Evolve, let's make sure we spell evolve right so if you we type evolve this will show you all your pokemon that are ready to evolve because see it's brought up either here and that shows me that i've got 53 candies so i've got enough candies there to evolve eevee and it's going to be the same with sandshrew sandshrew has 70 so i can evolve one of my sandshrew so that's really helpful so like if you're going to pop a lucky egg and you want to evolve several pokemon if you click if you type in evolve then you can see all the ones that you've got ready to evolve so one last thing that i've not mentioned is um say you want to find out a certain sp species slash evolved Pokemon, how many you've got. So if you put a plus sign uh, in front of it and then put like Aaron, you can see that I've got Aaron there and I've also got its evolved form, Laron. So as you can see, that's a few different searches that you can do with the Pokedex. Hopefully they might add some more in the future. Uh, if you know of any other searches, if you can put them in the comments because that would be helpful for other people. But please like and subscribe and I'll be bringing more content in the future. Thank you. Bye.